Hey, Michael, the question you posed was, how did some of my earlier career choices influence me in terms of the architect I am today? Uh, when I first moved to Boston, uh, I worked for two uh, significant architectural firms, one Benjamin Thompson Associates and two the Architects Collaborative. At Ben Thompson, I had the great opportunity to learn from Ben himself in terms of marketing and branding and, and creating this wonderful richness of, of vernacular, particularly when we worked on Faneuil Hall Marketplace and that I learned about materials and textures and scale and spaces between buildings that really enriched people's lives. And uh, that was a wonderful, important lesson. Secondly, at the Architects Collaborative, when I worked on a large urban design project developing a new city in Jebel, Saudi Arabia, I learned about uh, different cultures and learned about uh, the importance of indoor and outdoor living spaces, recognizing the 130 degree temperatures that you could have there and prevailing winds and, and how to get uh, orientation to important uh, cultural icons, be it the mosque or the, or the city squares. And that really helped me understand uh, as we work in, in this marketplace, how important these places and spaces are in the work that we do, particularly when we think about town planning today as well as uh, pedestrian scale and architectural scale for uh, human interaction. The next question that Michael uh, proposed was, how did I get so immersed in the New England vernacular form of architecture? Uh, having uh, moved to Boston 43 years ago and living here, uh, I really got to understand uh, the richness and diversity of architectural expression in the New England vernacular form, from grand shingle style houses to federal colonials, Greek revivals. And I found that rich vocabulary as a wonderful backdrop to work in, and that it really lends itself to uh, intimacy and scale in the architecture, and also a richness that uh, people all around the country celebrate when they think about New England and they think about the architectural history that's here and for those reasons alone, I've really embraced it and feel very fortunate to have been able to work in such a rich, diverse uh, marketplace.